the OTC hearing aid regulations that came out from the FDA back in the fall of 2022 fundamentally changed the landscape in which hearing aids uh, are regulated. First and foremost is for adults over the age of 18 with perceived mild to moderate hearing loss. So what the FDA did was they came up with um, technical um, aspects to that and requirements that the manufacturers would have to meet in order to be allowed to be called OTC hearing aids. ADA was largely very supportive of the rule and remains supportive of the final rule for the over-the-counter hearing aids um, because we really view hearing health as public health and we want to make sure that there is increased access, affordability, and competition and the things that really excellent implementation of that rule can provide. There are a lot of considerations when you're looking at over-the-counter hearing aids. I personally would recommend that you at least look for something that is self-fitting. But if you can also get something that has a support system built into it, um, that they're going to provide remote or in-person assistance will help you get the most out of your hearing aid. So this is not something that surprised any of us who have been watching this space. And the, the goal is to get more people who have untreated hearing loss to get treatment for hearing loss. If we can get a million people to get over-the-counter hearing aids and use them, that's a million lives reached. And that will be huge for the hearing health of our nation. And each one of these people, because they have earlier intervention, are going to be better off in their emotional health, their mental health, and their brain health.